In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a TIE Dagger, also known as a TIE, DG or Sith TIE Fighter from Star Wars. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in more Star Wars tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description to a full playlist you guys can check out after this video. Anyway, let's get into some building. Alright then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So this one is 10 blocks long, it is 9 blocks wide, and it's 9 blocks high, so it is as wide as it is high, which is interesting. Um, so guys, yeah, I've had to do a little bit of scaling, of course, as always with these kind of builds to make them look good, uh, and... Unfortunately, because we don't have like half slabs or vertical half slabs or whatever, um, I can't do the gun inside the wing here, so it's stuck on. But I think it still looks cool. So anyway, materials wise, you're going to need your red never brick slab, you're going to need polished deep slate, lightning rod, andesite wall, grey stained glass, polished deep slate slab, a polished andesite slab, polished andesite stairs, and polished andesite. We're going to need a load of other stuff as well as we go along, but this will get us through most of the build anyway. So, to get started, what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to be building mine in my box. Again, 10 blocks long, 9 blocks wide. Uh, you don't have to do that at all though, totally up to you. Uh, but if you are going to be doing it from here, place a block, just one in from the outside of the back piece. Then we're going to have two upper red never brick slabs. That's going to be a starting point. Then we're going to go up one with a never brick block, so just use your slabs, double that up have a slab on the top there then we're going to do the same again where we just build a block in here then have another one then again a block and another one and then finally we end with a block so what you should get is these two slabs block slab block slab block slab block slab going all the way to the top like that now we're going to have a five block gap one two three four and five and we're going to do the same thing so we've got two slabs underneath here and we're going to have that block and a slab, then a block, and a slab, then a block, and a slab. Then finally, we're going to end with a block. So there you go. Two slabs, block, slab, block, slab, block, slab, block. That is going to be our shape. We're going to do the reverse now. So we're going to go to a slab here, then a block, and a slab, then a block, then a slab, then a block, then two slabs. So you just end up doing the reverse to get the kind of dagger shape that we've got going on here, that very triangular shape. So slab, block, slab, block, slab. I don't know why I'm doing it so badly on this one. <laughs> block. Then two slabs at the top there like that. That will give you the rough shape that we're going for. Then what we're going to do with our polished andesite blocks, right in the middle we're going to go all the way to the back and we're just going to make it in line with what we've got here. So we'll just get this nice straight line of andesite like that. Then with our polished deep slate on the inside of this, we're just going to fill all of this up with deep slate. And one thing you'll notice from our other builds, I've not got this andesite block going around along the back, and that's because we've got these uh, andesite walls instead. So it's a little bit different, uh, but I did see this extra bit on the back of them. Uh, weirdly enough, I didn't even know that this, uh, this tie existed. I, even though I've watched the movie, I didn't know that this was actually in the movie, which I find crazy. Uh, so there we go, with your andesite wall now. Place that at the back of these, not onto the slab layer though, so it's just on the inside of that entire layer like that. Now the real one, if you want to mess around with uh, block states and with your debug stick and things like that, you can then start unconnecting some of these uh, and just leave the three middle ones connected. Uh, I've not bothered with that, but uh, you guys can if you want to because it has kind of got that effect going on. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to be from this center line here, go in one block and just have an andesite block here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have off the front of this two deep slate blocks, one on the top here and one underneath. Then with our uh, red never brick, we're going to go one slab here, block there, slab, then a block there. So then we get a slab, block, slab. And then on the back of this, we have three andesite walls. So this is the kind of um, the smaller wing that's attached to it. Now there's supposed to be a gun right in between these two. Uh, if you move this out it looks a little bit too elongated. Uh, so instead what I've done is with the lightning rod have this come off the front of this and just have it where it's kind of you know where the, the thicker part is there. You could also use an end rod as well. It's totally up to you guys which one you prefer. So the same again here. Polished andesite. Get a deep slate on top of that and underneath it 
two on the front. And then with our red never brick slab, we get a double here. So we get block on the front, slab, block, slab. So slab, block, slab, like that. And then andesite on the end, or on the back of that. And then with our lightning rod, we can come forwards so that we can get that thicker part on the back. So that will then give us these two wings. So we're now done, at least, with the red never brick uh, and with the uh, andesite as well. So we can kind of move stuff around if you want want to. I think we're actually done with this uh, deep slate as well. Yeah, we are. So we can get rid of that. Um, so let's grab some more blocks because I know we're going to need some uh, warped trapdoor you're going to need. And you're going to need iron trapdoor. And also we're going to need a button, which is going to be the crimson button. And polished deep slate wall as well. So to make the cockpit, first with our andesite block, we're going to be one in. This is going to be the starting block. So place one block either side of this. Okay. We're then going to have a slab on the top and a slab underneath. Then as a placeholder, we're just going to place one block either side of this like that. And then with our grey stained glass, this is going to go across with three and then one on the top and the bottom to make a nice little cross. And now we can get rid of that block. That was just to get us into the right position. Underneath this, we're going to have a polished andesite stair. And on top, polished andesite stairs like that. So it's the same design as my other ties. Then with our warp trap doors, put those on the edges. Up to you guys. Actually, no, you can't put anything on the sides this time because it's got a bit of an odd shape. But put a slab down on the sides here instead. It's going to say you can put a trapdoor on there. You can't. It's a lie. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do now on... Uh, the underneath of this is have a slab here. So we get a slab there. We're going to have a normal stair here, an upside down stair here. Like this, not that, like that. Then we're going to have an upside down stair here, upside down stair here. Normal stair, normal stair. So we're just doing the opposite of what we've got on this side. We're just flipping that over. Then with our blocks, we get a block in here, 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 and here, like that. Gonna have a lower slab here and a lower slab there like that and then with our polished deep slate wall we're going to place that in the middle and then our ion engines are going to be either side as crimson buttons then over the top here we're going to have a slab just to fill that up you can kind of see the interior space that you've got it's not loads to work with but you know you can move around a little bit at least that's better than my old ones uh, so you can have a deep slate slab over the top of that then with your iron trapdoor place those over the tops of those bits then underneath, you're going to do the same thing. So each of these sides like that, you're going to place those in there like that. And then I believe we've still got guns on the middle. We do, of course we do. I was thinking this looks a bit bare, or, and although it's got them on the sides, I was thinking this, surely there's guns on the front. Um, I use the crimson fence gate for this, so you know you can do the same, uh, or you can use the dark fence gate as well that we've used on other Tie Fighters. But just put that in there, punch it through, and that will give you guys. A tie dagger. Nice and easy little tutorial. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I don't even know this thing existed, but uh, I quite like the red going down it. I think it looks kind of cool and different. Uh, very, very Sif colours, really, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs>